Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the movie review for Thor Ragnarok. So this is going to have some spoilers in it, so if you have not seen the film, click away now. It's the third Thor film and the last MCU movie to come out this year. And I was so excited for it when I first saw it. And when I came out of it, I was so, so happy because it is honestly a really, really good movie. And it's hands down the best Thor movie. The film is directed by Taika Waititi and he gave the film this comedic sense that I haven't really seen in the previous Marvel films. Like Ant-Man was obviously the funniest film before Thor Ragnarok. But I think this and having Taika Waititi really builds the, builds the comedic factor like to the roof. And I really, really loved it. But in saying that, sometimes it didn't really know what it wanted to be. Both me and my friend agreed on this. That I don't know if it wanted to be a straight up comedy. I don't know if it wanted to be a straight up comedy action, straight up comedy action drama. You know, it had all these elements pushed in and it, it didn't really let you have time to breathe, if you know what I mean. But in saying that, it gave us what we all wanted with humor, action, and great characters, great character development, and beautiful scenery. Honestly, this, this has some amazing scenery. And in some scenes, I honestly got lost in the, the visuals. It was that beautiful. Given that it, this is set in space, it did, give, it did give the Guardians of the Galaxy feel to it. And that has some amazing visuals as well. But on that note, the colour in this movie was amazing. It was so vibrant and rich. A lot of oranges, a lot of blues, a lot of very very cool colours that I, I liked a lot. And, it worked, and obviously green. And it worked so well with the tone of the film. The tone of the film is great. You know, it almost plays out like an 80s film, especially the music. The soundtrack was amazing. I really loved that. And the action was fantastic. I loved the action, especially with Hella. Hella, whenever Hella was on... Um, screen there was nothing else to look at except from her beauty she stole the screen every single time she has gone to the top of my list of favorite marvel villains she is at the top and i would love for her to come back in infinity war just so we can see her again because she is just immense so the thing that distracted me in some parts of the film and both me and my friend agreed on this it was the green screen the green screen was just so bad um not every scene some of the visuals were quite spectacular like with Hulk and the scenery but some places where you just th wouldn't think that the, the CGI would be like an issue like at the beginning the CGI for me was a bit yeah and the green screen like you could see the outline of the green almost and it, it just looked really unprofessional and I didn't understand that like if you're spending millions and millions on these beautiful special effects these huge monsters I'm just a bit confused on why you couldn't clean up the edges of the green screen. That That's the only bit that I was just, it took me out of the, it, it actually took me out of the film because I was like, why? This this doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it was my cinema. I, I have no idea. It was just really, really bad. So let's talk a little bit about Thor. Thor was great. As usual, he is, I mean, his previous films haven't been the best, but you cannot tell me Chris Hemsworth doesn't deliver an amazing character every time. I think he is so well suited for the role he just brings a certain sense of charisma and charm to the role that i think everyone can like relate to and there was growth in some there was genuine growth from him and i love that type of character development and it was going to be very interesting to see in infinity war his character at the end is so much different than his character at the beginning and that's going to obviously be translated into infinity war and i'm wondering how that's going to affect him and the film hulk I love Hulk. I love Hulk so much. He, in this film, I think he was honestly the best we've seen of Hulk. Because he can talk in Hulk form. And I loved it. I loved his accent in um, Hulk form. It was so, so funny. And he, ha he had some great lines. Um, the only time I didn't like him, surprisingly, was when he was in human form. He was just a tad bit whiny. Like, when he was in human form. Understandably, of course. I mean, he was Hulk for two years on a strange planet but i don't know there was just something off about him in human form i don't know what it was but um yeah him as hulk though was so good and honestly you just in some parts you actually stole the show next is loki i like loki just sometimes with loki now it's getting a little bit repetitive and i want to see something new from the character and something a little bit more interesting uh not to say that he's not an interesting character he is it's just it's very predictable what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. And I just want to see something different from him. Because I like Tom Hiddleston 
but I just hope his character improves. Hopefully in the next Thor film or the next MCU films. I don't know if they're gonna make, they'll 100% make a Thor 4 because this one was just too good not to make a Thor 4. Next, Tessa Thompson. I really, really like Tessa Thompson. She was, honestly, she was surprisingly really charismatic and really funny and i didn't expect to see that um in her i thought she was going to be quite reserved or a professional type of character but no she was actually quite unruling and very um aggressive and i like that a lot she's a part of the valkyrie which is a all women as guardian army and they did brush up on that and they did talk a lot about the valkyries but what they showed was just a little flashback, which was absolutely stunning, by the way. I think it would be amazing in 3D. And I would have liked to have seen more history on the Valkyrie, hopefully in a future film or in a solo film of just Valkyries, because that would be so cool if they did a solo film on just the Valkyries. And there was great character development with her as well, which I like to see. I think there's no one else to talk about, really, except from, um, I th except from Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. He... He was literally Jeff Goldblum playing Jeff Goldblum in a way. He just it, there is no difference to his character. He plays the same character in every film, but it works so well. But yeah, he was all right. The next character I want to talk about, and the character that I did not think I was going to be so overwhelmed by, was Doctor Strange. When he, when you first saw him, I mean, talk about making an entrance. How his power has developed from. Doctor Strange to now is really amazing. I think it's just just been a year since uh, Doctor Strange came out and his powers have grown so so much so imagine what it's going to be like in Infinity War. Anyway the first time we see him he's in his lair in New York you just see this um, really cool silhouette of Doctor Strange and then he turns around and he just very graciously glides in in front of Thor and it was honestly like a wow moment. I would honestly watch that again just for that scene, it was that good. I am obviously gonna go watch it again because I am a Marvel fan and if you're a Marvel fan you could not watch a Marvel film just once, it has to be multiple viewings. Anyway, I liked him more in five minutes of this film than I did in the whole of Doctor Strange. I mean, yes, I love Doctor Strange, but it didn't really give me that magic that I was looking for, that over the top crazy magic that I was looking for. And we got that in Thor Ragnarok, which I was very surprised about, and it totally paid off. It looked so good. He's on my top 10 list of favorite characters now for, on the MCU. So to conclude, is this the best Marvel film ever? No. Is this the best film ever? No. Is this the best superhero film of the year? No. But it is the funniest Marvel film. It is the best Thor film. And it is so much fun. If you don't see it, you're going to be missing out. Go and watch this film. It is really, really good. And make sure you stay till the end. If you're going to make the effort and pay to go see a Marvel film, watch it all the way to the very, very end until the lights come on. Because that's the only way you're going to have the true Marvel experience. If you go when the movie finishes, then that's just stupid. And you should not be going to the cinema. So let me know what you thought of it down below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.